entering those 85 to 90 plus degree waters, plenty of fuel. The hurricane watch extends all the way to Tampa Bay, St. Pete, Sarasota, Naples and Fort Myers in a tropical storm watch. Look at the cone, it's wide still because we're talking about five days from now, the potential for impacts from the Panhandle through the Big Bend all the way down to Fort Myers. Cedar Key is where the track takes it right now. This is a really bad situation. Hello. How are we doing? I'm not great. Why? Because there's a hurricane coming. There is. Category <laughs> three. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty serious. Um, we are uh, expecting a hurricane coming mid next week. Um, so we kind of started last night in preparation of this hurricane. Carla, you want to? Give them a little more information on this, yeah. on this bad boy. All right, it's they are estimating it to be a category three hurricane when it hits our area. Now, from our experiences, we have lived in Florida practically our whole lives. Me since I was eight years old, Daniel, since you were like six or five. And before then, I lived in Puerto Rico, you lived in New York. So in Puerto Rico, I went through a couple of hurricanes in my childhood as well. So talking about that, they just had Hurricane Fiona last week in Puerto Rico. So a lot of the island still doesn't have power today is saturday and the hurricane's supposed to come on wednesday today is saturday august 24th and the hurricane's supposed to be coming this is not august <laughs> oh my god september today is september 24th i'm really bad with dates my god then it's almost up until the last minute as to what can happen because we've had hurricanes intensify hours before it hits us especially so we've continued to prepare the last couple of days today is monday and now they are anticipating that the storm will hit us around thursday maybe late wednesday into thursday so we still don't have like concrete this is when the storm is coming but we have continued to prepare so like we cleaned the house yesterday super cleaned the house daniel went back and got more groceries and he's been cooking and yeah, so that we have some leftovers. He went and he actually bought, where did you put the grill? The grill. You wanna show it in front of you? I don't Put it in front of you. That's weird. Daniel went, excuse the random banana peel because he's eating breakfast, but he went and he bought this grill. These are like those $15 grills that they sell at Walmart, right? It was like $15? Yeah. Super cheap. We have in one of our cabinets, from like, I think it's like from years ago, so hopefully it's still good. I'm sure we can get it lit, but we have coal um, that we can put in the grill. And we like this grill because first of all, it's tiny, so it's cheap and we don't have to go, we don't have like an actual big standard grill. If we did, we wouldn't have bought this. Um, and then we could have just used propane or whatever. So my dad uh, had mentioned is, had ordered some little propane stoves and we just went ahead and bought this because my dad ordered them from amazon and we don't know if they'll get here in time but yeah that way we don't need gas or anything like that we'll need coal and we can heat up food we can put pans on top of the grill and if we lose power we'll have a way to cook and warm up food it was bad it was bad um well it was bad on cyprus does that make sense? Which is the main road going mm -hmm. through our town. By the way, we, we're in a small town, so it's not terrible. It was bad on Cyprus at every gas station. I stopped at the one here by the house, packed. And I knew I wasn't going to get any luck there because half of the, the pumps were done when I went this afternoon. So I knew I wasn't going to get any luck. So I drove past it to the McDonald's by the Walmart, going to the Zaxby's, um, and where the CVS is at, packed. Like, people waiting in line, packed. I was like, yo. Backpacks. Daniel has one for his and I have one for mine is probably a change of clothes um, probably a water bottle or two um, maybe we'll put some snacks in here we might not it just kind of depends how we feel um, probably be smart to do so um, I can't think of anything else yeah our wallets uh, yeah 
yeah, pretty, pretty much all important documentation. He has a backpack for him, I have one for me. I am carrying all the documentation just so I can keep it safe. Um, and that's it. Always come to every time I come. It is packed. Yeah, every time I go to Dollar General, I tell you I'm going to Dollar General, it's this one. Yeah, it is packed. Right, I might have People to have you, here. I might have to have you um, just drive around. Or I'll park right here. All right, so it is currently 1.33 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon, and our power has flickered twice, but we're still good. It's not bad outside. It's like we, we're getting a few gusts of wind. Oh, they're pretty strong. Some, I mean, they're strong. I'm pretty sure they're... Uh, but I mean not strong enough that we're like concerned of like damage or anything like that but more like it affects the power so Man, can you bring me a but it keeps coming back on huh yeah Daniel is over here texting his family because we've lost power <laughs> we were watching uh, the Maze Runner series and lo and behold we are out of power so I already told my sisters, so my mom's aware. Um, so now it starts to count down. I have a laptop over here that has been charging since, you know, we knew the hurricane was coming. I've left everything charged. Um, so I'm gonna use a laptop kind of as a way to charge the phones. So Daniel has to keep breaking the, or flipping the brakes or whatever they're called. So keep using power. That's gonna be the next couple of hours. I'm gonna go in there and do all the things. I'm actually gonna try to cook dinner with the lights flickering on and off before we fully lose power because that continues to happen. I continue losing power, then we get it back to losing power. Thankfully, our fridge has kept going through it all. to put a light up there because I think we're officially out of power it hasn't tried to kick back on some dinner i got uh, some white rice some rice with uh sazon and uh sachichas vienna sausages and then i just right here and a piece of hawaiian roll so i There's got avocado water over there huh there's avocado where perfect got some avocado. Got daniel he got his little setup warmed everything up some avocado only thing I'm missing is some Texas, uh, Texas Pete hot sauce. You got Tabasco. Tabasco, sorry. Tabasco. What hot was that sauce. noise? That thing be freaking me out. Yeah. 
some Tabasco hot sauce, and then a flask of water. So we're gonna sit down, continue watching a show that we're watching, and then honestly, we just chill. Yeah. Your homegirl downloaded like 12 episodes of House when we got a, a break. All my messages are failing to send, isn't that nice? We got um, a few, maybe like an hour of power a couple hours ago, so I downloaded as much as I could on Amazon Prime. I was gonna download stuff on my, um, on my, what's it called? <laughs> my laptop as well, didn't happen. And we just showered. Both of us had time to shower and the water was still warm. Might not be the case tomorrow, but we'll see. But we still have warm water. And it's been a few hours with pow without power, so we felt very blessed about that. Unless, honestly, I don't know how water heaters work, so I'm not sure if that matters if you don't have electricity, but yes, it does, right? Am I being dumb? I don't even know. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I am a... <laughs> First time homeowner, we've only had our home for three years, so I just don't even know what we're doing. Um, but anyways, yeah, warm showers tonight. We were very happy about that. Good morning, everyone. It is like eight or nine in the morning, and we're about to go outside. All right, wow, so it is 8.22. Uh, branches everywhere look at that one right there yeah. and really we are through the worst of it we'll just get some light rain throughout the day today but uh yeah we got some crazy crazy branches kind of all over the place oh my God. look at this can you get it on camera yeah can you see yeah is there anybody here like that needs help or Just tree branches everywhere. Insurance companies are gonna get, uh, <laughs> get a lot this But there's no around. damage, it's just tree branches kind of all over the place. And we have to be careful with the cars too, so let's try not to use a Jeep because, um, you know, you get nails, you get branches, and they get caught in the tires and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's a few people driving around, but everyone's still kind of sleeping, I think. Nothing too crazy yet. But you can tell that families are gathering or gathered together. All these cars have a lot, all these houses have a lot of cars around the area. Super hard time sleeping. So I went to sleep like at almost one in the morning and Daniel just had to um, come and lay next to me on the couch because I, I was kind of nervous. It was rattling hard, but I think we slept through the worst of the worst. Um, because I was able to get to sleep. Is this a tree or are these bushes? That is, I have no idea. I think that's a tree. Oh, it's a branch. Yeah, on the tree. They just branches piled up. Do you think people piled them up? Because they look piled up. They do look piled up, but it's too early for people to have them. Wow, look at this one.
So we just got home. We literally spent the entire day at my mom's house. And we we're so tired. I will say the temperature outside is so cool. It's like in the 60s, low 70s. It feels really nice. Um, but we just got home to come and check on our our dog. So we've driven around town. <sighs> Looked at the damage and stuff like that. Um, we still don't have power. Our neighborhood doesn't have power. My mom's neighborhood doesn't have power. So kind of just our area doesn't have power. My dad, I don't think, has power. He lives just like 30 minutes from me. Now, my brother and my mother-in-law, who are about an hour and a half from us, got power back this morning. So <sighs> it's just a waiting game at this point. All right, the lighting is kind of crazy, but it is Friday night. It is currently 6.51 p.m., my sister just um, let us know a little bit ago that we got power. So we are heading home from staying the night at Daniel's mom's house. Um, had a good time over there. We made arepas. I didn't film anything because we are exhausted. Daniel slept literally the whole day. Um, and then my niece and nephew were there and just hung out as a family. Um, it was nice to have AC, internet, be able to charge all our stuff. But we are so excited to head home to a house with power. So we are so grateful for electricity right now so that's where we're heading so um i'm not even gonna lie i just cried <laughs> i guess uh, after everything calmed down and we're just in the car what a freaking week this was um just really really tiring um and this was twice as hard because of you know daniel's conditions with being on dialysis and things like that and having to you know like yesterday we literally left our home like i don't think i even explained how we came to come to daniel's mom's house house um so we like at six no no it was like at five ish whatever we're on our way home from our parents and his mom was like you know come stay with me um if you know you don't have power and we kind of made this last minute decision probably 30 minutes 45 minutes before the sun was about to set and it was like his mom lives over an hour away and we were we had to pack up the dog grab dialysis supplies grab clothes um electronic things that we, we needed to charge because we didn't know how long we were going to be without power thankfully um it was just two nights and then by today the power came back on in the afternoon and we didn't know there was a lot of flooding in where in the town that daniel's mom lives a couple towns over an hour away so we didn't want to drive in the dark because we didn't know what we were facing thankfully what we had to drive through was completely dry and perfect and had power but where daniel's mom lives just beyond her home then there was some flooding thankfully didn't affect her but it was really scary a very scary moment because we knew we were gonna have to drive in the dark and we had no idea what roads were blocked where there were issues we were hoping that apple maps would be updated or google maps with you know any road closures or whatever but the reality was we were going to be driving a little bit blind and that was very scary but it was like a decision that we knew we had to make we didn't know how hot today was going to get and how hot it was going to get at night thankfully we're in a cold front or something because it's been in the 70s and during this time i mean it's in the 80s 90s um, but today was it didn't go above the 70s it's been very mild weather the last you know right after the hurricane it left us very mild weather um, and usually gets really humid and hot and uncomfortable but i guess we got a cold front or something and we got some beautiful fall weather so that was comfortable and nice um but all of this to say it was a very stressful drive here Zeus. It's that he knows. <laughs> guys we just got Zeus a pop cap oh no it's you're gonna get messy it's messy <laughs> it's everywhere it's okay, this car is like an absolute mess. <laughs> oh, it's flashing on me. <laughs> oh my God, he grabbed the cup and tried to bite it. Yeah, he does it. He's aggressive like that. that. There's more. That was so aggressive. Oh my God, I think there's some on my neck. He is so guys i'm so sad because i wasn't able to catch it on camera but we just drove by we're on the highway um that leads up to our home about 30 minutes from home and we just saw the coolest thing um every time that i've lived through a hurricane um oh, not every time because when you're a kid you really notice some things but 
Um, last time Hurricane Irma was about five years ago when I had just become a nurse at the time. Um, so it, that hurricane really impacted me. So, oh, and good news, my mom just got power actually a little bit ago. So my whole family has power and it's nice to know that. But anyways, um, so we just drove by an area here that's kind of, I don't want to say touristy, but it's highway. So there's like a bunch of fast food places and restaurants and hotels. And there was an exit, yeah. dozens of, uh, I don't even know what they're called, uh, utility trucks and mm -hmm. like the trucks that fix lights and stuff like that. Dozens and dozens of them just parked. And I mean, and in a, in, there's like a truck stop area. And I'm telling you, dozens of trucks parked. And we were just like, wow, that's amazing. It, it takes, without. Yeah. <laughs> gosh way to get cut off here by this van um but it's just amazing to see like all the people that are deployed i heard 25 states deployed people to come down to florida and help with the recovery efforts it's just amazing to see um and a lot of the time they actually like we're watching right now and i wish i could catch it on camera but it's too dark and i can't get i can't zoom in enough there are utility trucks just passing us by um heading towards the hotels like I'm, I'm seeing i've already seen a few as i'm talking to you guys and it's just amazing because they're really the true mvps of the recovery efforts it's just winter haven imagine in tampa imagine in sarasota home sweet home we have power it feels wonderful in here my sister was actually hanging out here before we got here so the ac is on it's cold i'm so happy Overall, we just feel so grateful that we didn't get any damage in our home. You know, that was not the case for so many people, especially in the Fort Myers area, the coast area. So we pray and hope that the recovery will be quicker than expected and that they can get back into their homes. But thank you so much for watching. I wasn't able to show you all the worst of the storm. It was too dark outside and we ended up falling asleep and just sleeping through it but it really was scary having to deal with daniel doing dialysis manually um, and not being able to use the machine because we had no power and getting those supplies was a little bit scary we got it right before the hurricane and overall we're just grateful that it could have been so much worse but thankfully it wasn't and i hope you guys stick around subscribe and i will see you in the next video